Hello there, it's me, Mouselet, and it is a Daiba Day today. An important day in the Digimon community, as this is the day the first Digimon anime, Digimon Adventure, premiered back in 1999. To celebrate this day, I wanted to execute an idea that I've had for quite some time, and that was heavily inspired by Carney X. Go check him out. And since 95% of my content on the internet is Dinosaur King focused, Let's combine these two franchises and give Dancer King characters their Digimon partners. Or at least, let's give the D team and their support Digimon in this video and let's address the others in the next one. Now, I have a few things to explain to people that don't know Digimon and I assume there's a lot of you because, as I said, most of my content is focused on Dancer King. You're, if you're here, you're probably gonna know more about Dancer King. So, the evolution lines can go all over the place, unlike in Pokemon. Uh, there are some intended lines, mainly with uh, partner Digimon in the anime, but even those get funky sometimes. Another thing worth mentioning is the Digimon levels. There are six main levels for Digimon. We'll skip the first two in this video, as they aren't important. The four ones we'll be talking about are Rookie or Child, Champion or Adult, Ultimate or Perfect, and Mega or Ultimate. Yeah, due to the con due to confusion, I will be using Perfect and Mega respectively. There was a weird thing that happened with the Japanese and English translation. It was weird. Also, I do not want to mention full lines for everyone, as there are too many characters. One more thing before we start. I'll use mainly Japanese names for Digimon. So let's jump right into it. With Max and an obvious partner, Gummamon. Which would turn into Vess and Gummamon. Two quite recent Digimon that just work as a homage to Chom. Especially with Gummamon's similar habit of biting things. For Rex, I settle on Vimon, whose energetic personality would oppose Rex's, similar to how Max does in the anime, and mainly the manga. Uh, the champion would be Stridramon, just because I think it's very underrated and looks super cool. Zoe has always reminded me of Digimon Adventure's Mimi, so I picked Palmon as her rookie. It's also described as a plant-like reptile, which does work. But it is the champion which is the most perfect choice of this entire video, and that's Parasormon. Not only that it's a Parasaurolophus, but it also has plant-based attributes, resembling Paris quite a lot. It was created after DK, by the way. Now, I haven't mentioned perfect levels for the D-Team, and there's a good reason for it. As much as I think that Triceramon, Paldramon, and Tropiamon would thematically fit into these lines. I discovered a group of Digimon while doing my research that can act as a great callback to DK. So I picked Gokumon, Shovdinmon, and Cho Hakaimon, respectively for the D-Team, as these Digimon represent characters from Journey to, to the West, the same characters the D-Team themselves were compared to. Another thing is that all three plus Sanzomon can evolve into Shakamon, who is said to be the closest to being to Yggdrasil. It's Digimon lore time, baby. Yggdrasil is the god of the digital world, and basically or light pterosaur equivalent. Works very nicely, doesn't it? Now, Yggdrasil is heavily linked with the Royal Knights, a group of 13 Digimon tasked with managing the digital world. We do have 13 anime characters in total who are part of the D-Team or its support, not counting the Alpha Gang, so this is just asking for a connection. This does cause me some issues with my original picks for some of these lines, but Digimon does have stuff like side evolution, which we can use for some characters in this instance. Keeping the Royal Knights in mind, Max's Mega would be Dukemon, Rex would have Magnemon, and Zoe would gain a split evolution of the Royal Knight Lord Knightmon 
and then a normal evolution as Rosemon, which we'll link to a different pick later on. Moving on, Spike's getting Agumon Hakase, also known as Professor Agumon. This matches up well with the Japanese version of DK, where Spike is indeed a Hakase. His Agumon could potentially be a regular one that just cosplays and can switch to Bushi Agumon as well, since it matches Spike well due to his excitement for the Japanese history in Ninja Nightmare. His outfit in the season 2 opening, and the fact that cosplaying would represent a connection to Aki, and her feeder days, or as the Japanese dumb mentions it, her cosplaying for cons when she was younger. Yeah, I'm not kidding, that's an actual thing. <laughs> The Mega would be Gankumon, as it for some reason just gives me a Dino Man vibe. Since Spike would have Agumon Hakase, Reese needs to have Terriumon assistant. Its perfect form would be Wisemon to represent her intellect and stuff. Though I do admit that something more mechanical would fit her better. It ties in into both of her Megas slightly better. Her regular Mega would be Lotus Mon, while the Royal Knight is Dynas Mon, both of which being somewhat of a match pair with Zoe's Megas. Lotus Mon and Rose Mon having a connection that I'll talk about later on, while Dynas Mon and Lord Knight Mon being a pair of antagonists in the fourth season of Digimon anime called Frontier. Speaking of matching pairs, Zoe could have been given Terriermon's twin Lopmon if it wasn't for my love for Palmon and it fitting Zoe so well. So instead, Lopmon goes to Minmi, who gets a quick mention. Moving on to the parents, I chose Elecmon as Aki's partner. His attributes of electricity and primary coloration being red uh, is a nice homage to max while the indigo spots possibly linking to rex um it would evolve into leomon which literally has the same uh, body build as spike but also uh i want my girl to kick some ass as for the mega it'd be duffmon which for some reason gives me aki vibes next up we have anmo yes mrs drake is an actual first name in japanese um, and she's a hard one. Like, this woman's most memorable quote is that one gasp. I can't explain why, but her rookie would be Muchamon. I do have some actual reason for the Mega, which would be Reflessimon, as this Digimon, in some of its appearances, is a fusion of Rosemon and Lotusmon, the Megas of her daughters. Oh, and as for the Royal Knight, I guess... Sleepmon? There isn't anything very fitting, to be fair. I guess it is the most animal-like, and she is a vet. Yeah, I don't have really good reasons for this one. Chusei, yes, even Dr. Drake has a first name, would have Ganvi Vormon. I hope I, I pronounced that correctly. This cute little nurse cat just works very well for a vet. Now, this Digimon doesn't have an official level. It was one of the Digimon created for fans and later completely forgotten, but for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna make it a rookie. Despite cat Digimon usually being champions for some reason. It would evolve into Ginryumon to represent Chusei's whole arc in ancient Japan and his love for Japanese history. The Royal Knight Mega would be Alphamon, which is often linked with a Ginrim online, and the regular Mega would tie into what the rest of his family established in this video with Bloom Lordmon. I absolutely adore this design, by the way. As for Ancient, I settled on Dorumon, as nothing else seemed to fit. And as for the Mega, I picked All Force Vidramon, linking him to Rex's rookie Vimon. Now, Cretacea was a bit easier and ended up with Gumdramon. Just like Rex's Vimon, it is a protagonist Digimon in the anime, but also they're both partners to characters that look up to the 
previous season's protagonist. Adding in one more connection to Rex, Cretaceous Gumtramon would evolve into Vitramon to its champion level. Due to the draconic elements of the rest of the line, Demega would be Axamon. Next up is a character I struggle with in general. Owen. I couldn't find anything that could match this man. The only thing that saved me was his relationship with Spike, and thanks to it, Owen ended up with Gabumon. Now, Agumon and Gabumon are counterparts in the franchise as they are partners to the leader and his rival slash best friend in adventure. And they do end up fusing together into a very iconic Digimon called Omegamon. Speaking of Omegamon, it is Royal Knight, which means that yes, it is Owen's Gabumon's Mega here. Another difficult one was Patrick, who ended up having Falcomon, pre-2006 Falcomon. I have no reason for this one, if I'm being honest. I just think that visually they'd work together. I did not want to pick something like Ponchomon, that would, I think, go a little too far. Let's just settle on with the bird. For the Mega, it's just Mon, the literal Jesus Digimon. Look, Royal Knights don't exactly match all these characters, but I still like the idea of all of them having a Royal Knight and linking to the Light Pterosaur. But you know what does match? The Ludamon line, belonging to Jonathan. Ludamon is a shield Digimon, which works perfectly with Jonathan's role as Rex's bodyguard, and it gets cooler the more the line progresses. I also think that Craniumon fits uh, him as a Royal Knight evolution. And that's it for this video. I did plan on including the Alpha Gang and the Space Brats as well, but I didn't want uh, the video to get too long, so you'll have to wait for part 2 to see my choices for them. I do hope that you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to check out Carney X, whose videos inspired me to make this. Check out my friend Fullscap Hamato who makes some cool DKMVs as well. And of course, I'd like to direct you towards my main channel, Mausolid. And I hope to see you soon.